Hey everyone, today we are getting closer and closer to getting all of the Iron Ranger family together. Today I have the 8112, which is very hard to find. I had to buy them used. I tried to get them new, but uh, Red Wing couldn't find them for me, so I have a used pair uh, in my hands, uh, which I'm still thankful for. They are in pretty good condition, and then I'm going to clean them up and put them in even better condition. Uh, today I'm wearing the 8011 um, Munson Ranger in the White Ash. And behind me you see I have the other Iron Rangers that I'm slowly, slowly collecting and getting them all together. Um, so this is the um, 8112 in the Oro leather. Yes, so uh, it's the same leather as 875. And um, it is used and they are in um, decent condition. The leather's not uh, too bad of a shape. Um, the heel or the, the sole is worn, which I, but I can just resole that um, and um, take care of that myself. So uh, let's take a closer look at the 8112 Iron Ranger. Okay, here we have the Red Wing Iron Ranger 8112 in the Oro leather. Now, this was a Japanese exclusive, and I, I think they had some in Europe because I remember the Amsterdam uh, Red Wing may have had these as well as uh, possibly in Germany. Um, but um, I wanted to get these new, could not, so I have a used pair here. Uh, this is the same leather as what's on the 875. So this is, uh, you know, I reviewed the 875, uh, fairly new, this one. Uh, this is a used pair, so the color is still very close. This one may have been treated uh, slightly, it looks like, or it's just um, been worn and then over time with the oils and stuff, um, got slightly darker. Uh, so um, let's just go over the usual. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that it's in the nitrile cork because I do like the nitrile cork on an Iron Ranger. Um, Goodyear Welt nitrile cork sole. We have uh, eyelets and speed hooks. I think what I may do is change out the eyelets, or remove the speed hooks and just put eyelets all the way through, maybe. But I'm definitely gonna get a resole on here. Um, you can see the heel has, uh, let's see where you can see that the heel has been uh, worn on that. So I'm going to get a new sole put on here. Um, we have the triple stitch in the Oro. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, this is, a, I love this. I look at, and it looks really good with uh, the contrasting with the, the denim. Uh, just a um, beautiful color. The, the Oro really uh, grew on me. It's a um, gorgeous leather. So let's look at the inside of the other boot. So uh, we have the uh, reverse of the Oro. Uh, leather sole and as you know the uh, Iron Rangers are uh, canvas lined they're not fully leather lined um, and so what I'm going to do is I may I'm going to treat these I'm going to clean them and then I may treat them but I'll probably use a leather cream instead of anything that's going to darken it even more but they, they definitely need a cleaning because they are a bit dirty yeah I'm glad that I'm that I'm able to add these to the collection a good piece just wish that I would have got them brand new, but it's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to clean the Iron Rangers that I have. They are used, like I said before, um, and I want to clean them up. Going to change the laces as well. So I have a couple different options for laces. Um, I have, I think, these uh, classic Tazlin laces that are usually in um, a lot of the mock toes. They're in the 875s. And I think that looks good, it pairs well with this um, Oro leather. I have uh, these from Benjo's, this blue, which is, could be interesting um, with that uh, leather. And then I have uh, a navy, this is also from Benjo's, this is a flat lace, which could look pretty cool too. So uh, we'll figure that out once we get there. So here I have uh, some water in this bowl, some warm water. Um, I have the uh, foam leather cleaner and then I have the leather protector and I'm going to use the uh, leather cream on these because I don't want uh, these to get any darker and so I think using the boot oil uh, I know that will darken it initially and then it will lighten but I just want to put a leather cream treatment on here uh, to start off so uh, I have my rag sponge and I have two different brushes so I have the the Red Wing um, horsehair brush and then I have this brush that came with a, a kit from Foot Locker that I'm gonna use just to clean off initially and then use this one to, uh, to shine it up. All right, so uh, let's get started. This is a brand new foam cleaner which I picked up at Red Wing 
and inside it comes with a uh, cleaner obviously, a cap, and another sponge. I already have a sponge somewhere here, so it's nice to have another one. Maybe I will use, no, I'll stick with this one. I'll keep this one for another day. So, unscrew this. Ah, I see here. Peel this off and then let's place this thing inside the bottle. And I already have some warm water in this bowl, so we'll give it, uh, they say a cap, what do they say? Two cap full, so this cap, we'll throw in the uh, soap in there. One and two, cool, good. And then I usually use my finger to get some suds going. Throw that sponge in there to soak it up. And then this box, so a little adios and the foam cleaner. All right, so now let's remove these laces while that uh, sponge is soaking in there. These laces are actually in decent condition. I could use them for something else. They look like they go inside the Iron Ranger 8111. They look like the same laces that uh, go in there, but um, I use them for something else. And so now I'm gonna use the brush that I got from the Foot Locker thing just to get some of this dust off. Now these boots look like, there's a water stain on here. So I don't know if, you, if that's gonna show up on camera, maybe at this angle. It looks like they got wet and they were in some kind of water, but overall they are in pretty decent condition for a used pair. I've seen some pairs that are pretty beat up looking. But these seem to be okay. So let's get into that wealth there and any kind of dirt. So I don't have, I don't own the other Red Wing brush that's made for this. I should, but I don't yet. But I think this one here will do the job for now. Just cleaning out that wealth and any other dirt that's on here. That's interesting. This heel has some grime on it. All right, pretty good. Now let's get this uh, cleaner, clean these bad boys. Not knowing where the boots have been, it's always uh, more tedious when cleaning them. So you want to give them a nice, a nice washing. Versus if they were mine, I know kind of what they've been through. The cleaning is usually more targeted because I know what uh, what's been going on with them. Okay, we'll let that dry and then we will add the leather cream. Okay, the boots are now dry and I'm going to apply the leather cream on the boots. This I got, uh, this was a sample um, that I received when I purchased one of my boots. Um, I'm going to use this Red Wing rag cloth. I'm gonna use the other side of it because this side is um, a bit Furry, is I guess the best way to describe it. <laughs> and this is a bit rougher. I think that it's easier, for, I think, to apply it with this side. This one is more like if you wanted a buff, and this one is kind of like a, a little bit rougher and just easier, in my experience, um, to apply. So let's do a little bit of the leather cream all over this. And again, I'm using leather cream because I don't want it to darken any more than the leather already has from um, whoever owned these previously. Look at that. So they must have applied something because I see that this is changing a bit. So they must have had some kind of... I could have uh, used saddle soap on these Iron Rangers since I had no idea what these had been through and just kind of like started over. I didn't want to dry out the leather, take the chance of drying it out. I'm going to send these out anyways to get a resole and they probably will treat them again. So it's best to probably just use this leather cream, which is uh, Neat's foot oil. And this is just does a conditioning, not as deep as let's say like a mink oil will do. It doesn't really penetrate as much as that, but it does a really good job and will not uh, darken the leather as much as some other 
creams and oils but you see it's looking pretty good and there's a little shine on there and see you can see right here where let's see if i can tell with that light right here you can see there was something something going on here this color it got wet and you see that there's a water stain or something on here which i'm not very happy about but what can you do all right so let's do this one now This side of the boot here, the leather is kind of textured, almost like how the briar leather is. It's, it's, uh, and this also has another kind of mark here, another stain, like right there. Character, I guess. The boot's got character. I don't know their story because they were used. Get some little marks that I see where I have leftover cream. All right, so then now I'm gonna give them a little quick uh, brushing. Heat that leather up a bit with this brush and the friction. Pretty good. Looking pretty good. Look at that shine. Nice. Very nice. All right, let's do the other one. So we have a little nice shine on these bad boys. I'm gonna let this sit for a second because then I'm gonna apply this uh, leather protector before I put the laces, sorry. So let me let it sit for a second and then I'll apply this and then we'll lace them up. Okay, now I'm going to uh, spray the boots with this uh, leather protector from Red Wing. Just give it a quick uh, once over. Okay, now, so what I like to do if I have the laces is each time I condition my boot, I like to put in new laces. So I think the winner will be these uh, Tazlin laces that are in the um, 875s as well. I think it just looks really good with the oral leather, so I'll put these in next. All right. All right, let's lace up the 8012 Iron Rangers. Cleaned and conditioned. Ready to go. All right, there we have it. So now, let's do the on feet. It's always interesting stepping into someone else's shoes that they've broken in. You can definitely feel where their feet have landed and where you need to kind of work your own footprint in. I, I remember uh, when I would put on my dad's boots when I reached the age where we became the same size and his foot was much wider than mine and stepping into his boots and thinking, Oh wow, these are really loose. <laughs> but I'd still wear them, I would just tie them a little bit tighter. But uh, I haven't really worn these much at all. And um, these are they look fantastic with the selvage denim. Uh, they This may be just the second time that I've actually put them on. I have really haven't had a chance to, to wear them. So um, they I'm gonna try, either I'm gonna resole and uh, work my own footprint or um, just leave them for a little while. Uh, this grown and sewn uh, trouser with these gray trousers, canvas trouser, very, very nice. And then I have um, a scotch and soda 
uh, trouser in like an army, which pairs really well with that um, Oro leather. The Oro leather is just really good looking all together. It's definitely grown on me. So that is the Red Wing 8112 Iron Ranger, Japanese exclusive, and the Oro. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.